Hello everyone, this is a new tutorial, a really tiny short tutorial and I'm going to show you uh, how to verify the PGP signature of your Arc, Arc Linux ISO. When you download your Arc Linux ISO, you must verify at least the PGP signature and uh, one of the uh, checksums, the MD5 or uh, SHA-1 for example. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Uh, in after download the, uh, the Arc Linux ISO, for example, I download the, the ISO by torrent, and then you have to go here where where it says uh, checksums, and you have to click here to uh, download the signature. Okay, and in order to check the PGP signature, you have to go here to the installation wide. And here at the beginning, there is a section called a verified signature, and you must follow these uh, steps. It's a really uh, simple step. So let's do that quickly. Here I have the ISO downloaded and the signature. So you have to uh, do, um, copy the, the command line that you see here in the wiki in this section. So let's, I already have the the command line is gpg dash dash key server dash options auto key retrieve verify our linux signature uh, why i have two times this is two times no it's not two times okay let me uh, click uh, click enter okay it's just the the terminal okay Okay, it's done. It's going to verify the, the signature. Uh, the origin of the signature should be already at because this is our Linux in this case. But if you are going to do that from other distribution, you must add the, the signature to your system. So if, for example, it show you uh, that is good signature by blah, 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 then it's okay, but well, I forgot to mention that there is an alternative. If you are using already Arc Linux, you can verify from an Arc Linux installation your new Arc Linux ISO. So let's do that quickly. Pacman dash key dash V and the name of your uh, Arc Linux uh, signature file. So Arc Linux signature. Let's do that. going to take a while yeah okay so it says that you can trust and uh, it has a good signature so this one this method is is in in case you already have Arc Linux installed installed um, on your system and the other method I show you it was from other distributions that I want to uh, to clarify in this uh, because I, uh, after recording the, the video, I just realized that I forgot to show you this method. So yeah, that's it. You must also try to check at least one of the, the other ones. For example, MD5. We are going to check this one. Let's copy. It's not necessary to copy. You can do that quickly from here. MD5, zoom. And then the name of the ISO, our Linux ISO. Then it's going to show you a number. You can see it's the same. At least if the first and the latest one are the same, the rest is the same. But you can verify uh, slowly and take a time to check. But yeah, it's the same. So yeah, uh, any time you download an ISO, uh, it doesn't matter the operating system, uh, you must verify if there is a section with uh, the checksum, the, um, the number, uh, usually uh, all the distributions has uh, MD5 or a SHA-1 or SHA-256, uh, for example, or it depends. You can also check a uh, SHA-1, which SHA-1 is just like that, SHA-1, zoom, and the name, just like that. 
and also if you want to show you the net then the number here and you can see the same so yeah anytime you download the NISO you must verify it's really important at least the uh, the MD5 or chat I, it doesn't matter but if you have PGP also it's really great because it's a it, it avoid a problem with uh, for example uh, the web page can be hacked for someone and we see, we uh, saw in the past that um, some distribution had some problems with that because of um, someone had the, the the web page and when someone tried to verify the md5 it was correct but it was a, a corrupted uh, iso for example so it's very important to check also the pgp at the same time so that's it that's it um it's already verified the this iso is re ready to use is uh, safe so there is no problem so i hope this video will be uh, helpful for you and if you like this video please uh, like this video and subscribe to my channel to uh, to see more uh, stuff related to this kind of topic uh, linux tutorials so yeah subscribe to my channel and don't forget to enable the notifications to stay up to date so thank you guys bye